everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I am bringing you my 2019 reading stats. I thought it might be a little interesting for me to share with you some of the stats that I collected. I know I really enjoy watching other people tell their stats and seeing their reading journey throughout the year. So I thought I'd share mine. In uh, 2019, I went ahead and created a Google form and I was inputting information that I thought I'd like to see at the end of the year um, just to compare some reading things and visualize things that I was interested in knowing as far as my reading went throughout 2019. This is the first time I've done something like this and the results are pretty interesting. Um, I will also be sharing with you what my Goodreads stats say. So. Let's get into it. So this year, or in 2019, I read a total of 60,118 pages out of 265 books. That is a lot higher than it was in 2018, where I read 26,613 pages from 100 books. I do have to say this is in large part because of the amount of manga that I consumed in 2019. I voraciously read manga um, in 2019. Not that I haven't read manga in the past. In fact, I believe throughout the entire time I've been on YouTube, I've talked about manga and have read manga. But I just really got into reading manga this year between all of the manga readathons that were happening and all of the new friends that I made on MangaTube. Um, I don't know, it was just more fun for me to read manga than it was to read novels. As such, my novel reading did slack a bit, but Nonetheless, I'm still very happy with the amount that I have read throughout 2019. A few more stats from Goodreads. The shortest book I read was 62 pages long. This was In the Heart of the Fire by Dean Kuntz, which is the first book in the Nameless series, I guess, that he's released on Kindle Unlimited, um, or at least on Amazon. I read it through Kindle Unlimited. This was, I believe it was the last book I read in 2019. Right before I read this one, the shortest book on this list was In a Dark, Dark Room, um, which I believe is by Alan Schwartz. Alvin Schwartz. It's by Alvin Schwartz. Um, and that is one of my favorite childhood books. Um, but I read that during October. Anyway, the longest book I read in 2019 was City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, which is the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments series. I buddy read this one with my friend Shannon, who sadly is no longer on YouTube for the moment, um, but you can check out her blog, which I will link down in the description box below. The most popular book I read was Dracula, which 937,536 people have also read. The least popular book I read was Slumbering Beauty, Volume 2 by Yumi Unida. This is a manga, and 25 people have also read that one. The book that I read that was highest rated on Goodreads was Fus Basket, Collector's Edition, Volume 6 by Natsuki Takaya, another manga, which has a 4.68 average star rating. Now we can get into some of the stats that I collected on my Google form. So the number of owned books I read was 131, the number of library books I read was 113, I read 18 books from Kindle Unlimited, and this is a combination of audiobook and ebook, and if I had bought everything that I had read, the amount I would have paid would have been $237.02 which tells me that I did make use of my subscription fee um, for that, so that's good. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to make sure I was doing was reading enough from Kindle Unlimited to 
justify the payment and so that is great I do not pay those on in monthly installments I do the two-year annual subscription so last year I did renew because I wasn't sure that I was making use of it and so yeah um, that's something good to know the number of advanced readers copies that I read was three I do not read a lot of these um, and I was getting all of my advanced readers copies from a website called first to read from penguin random house sadly that has closed down I don't um, request stuff from that galley or from Edelweiss uh, I just I'm not much of a new release reader and you'll see that in some stats that follow but I did read three of those this year and one of them was one of the books that I was highly anticipating which was the tenth book in the witchcraft mystery series by Juliet Blackwell and that one was called Bewitched and Betrothed so yeah that was really exciting that was also the last book that I had gotten through that program before they closed down. So the number of actual novels that I read was 18, and that's physical novels. The number of audiobooks I listened to was 7. The number of uh, book and audiobook combinations that I consumed was 24. So those are all stats in regards to novels. Um, I started 67 series in 2019. I completed 26 series. Now this stat was very interesting to me. I do uh, have a first in a series cozy mystery book club which I run out of the Mystery Madness Goodreads group and so we do read first in a series cozy mysteries for that and so I am starting a lot of new series and I say starting very lightly because I don't necessarily intend to continue all of the series that I read for that and also um, following that I do also run a small in real life manga book club at my local Barnes & Noble um, which I started in 2019 and we also only read first volumes or mostly read first volumes for that though we are doing a series read currently. So I don't uh, contemplate that the number of started series is going to decrease um, in light of these things. Also there are several series that I'm interested in so yeah, number of started series I don't think I can do much about, but the number of completed series is something that I can do something about and do intend to work on um, as part of my 2020 reading goals. So the number of standalone volumes I read, and this is manga and novels, was 13. Obviously, I am not much of a standalone reader. I do read a lot from series. Um, so that was not a surprise to me. The number of backlist titles that I read was 247. This also was not a surprise to me because, like I had said previously, I do not read a lot of new releases. Um, but the number of 2019 releases that I did read was 18, and that is a lot higher than it's been uh, previously so that was interesting for me to find out the number of volumes of manga I read was 216 again like I said I had a really great year reading manga and uh, so that was nice that also um, helped my page count and the number of novels I read was 49 and this was just short of the goal that I had set for myself which was 52 um, but I'm not upset about that I did read a lot during the year I did increase my page count as well so not making the 52 novels doesn't really bother me too much 
So the grand total of books that I read, again, was 265. I did DNF one book, which I'm trying to work on DNFing books. I It's something that I just started doing, I think, in 2018. Um, I've always been the type of person that would just read until the end, no matter how much I was disliking or not enjoying the journey. Um, just because I always had it in my mind that things could turn around. Something could happen. A lot of times towards the end, things start clicking into place more or I get more interested in what's going on. But I really need to learn how to say, okay, I'm really not enjoying this. Am I going to regret putting this down and not finishing the story? Um, because, you know, life is short. I am getting older and I shouldn't be wasting valuable reading time on things that are not making me happy. So, even though I did only DNF one book this year, um, I know there were others that I probably should have. And so this whole thing about DNFing books is really a learning journey for me and something that I'm going to continue to try to work on in 2020. But the one book that I DNFed was The King of Bones and Ashes, which is the first book in the Witches of New Orleans series by J.D. Horn. This was one of the ones that I had borrowed from Kindle Unlimited, and I think I read about 100 pages before I, did, before I said, that's enough. I wasn't interested in knowing what was going on. I wasn't interested in any of the characters. I wasn't interested in knowing how things were playing out. So I decided to put it away for good, and I think that was the right decision because I had started reading that pretty early in the year, probably within the first quarter, I would say. I don't even remember that's how poorly the experience was for me, but I believe it was in the first quarter. Um, I haven't thought about it at all. I haven't wondered about the characters. I haven't wondered about the story. So I do believe DNFing this one was a good decision. So as far as 2020 reading goals go, um, I had mentioned before that I am looking to continue working on my series in progress. Um, you'll know if you've been with me for a little while that I have created a series tracking spreadsheet. And so that will help me and has helped me uh, work on series that I have started. Um, I may not end up completing all of the series on that list, but for now, those are the series that I am still interested in reading a few more volumes of and deciding whether or not I'm going to continue. It also helped me finish a few series, um, but I was very poor about keeping track about of those um, during the year. So it is something that I am planning on keeping track of a little bit more closely and we'll hope to have those uh, stats for you as I get those for the end of 2020. I'm going to continue to work on collecting information on the titles that I read from Kindle Unlimited because even though I do have a two-year subscription, I still want to make sure that I am getting my money's worth out of that. Um, I have played around with going back to Scribd. I did have a Scribd subscription before I had the Kindle Unlimited. Um, actually, yeah, before I had the Kindle Unlimited, I started Kindle Unlimited in 2015, I believe. Um, I also had a script subscription at the same time because I was trying to figure out which one I was going to go with. But the way Scribd is very vague about their limits um, has made me hesitant about going back. I ended up not 
um, renewing my Scripps subscription back in like 2016 or so because they had started to put limits on the number of audiobooks um, that you could borrow. And until they come out and solidify um, where their limits are on things, I don't think Scribd is going to be something that I will be considering. However, I am enjoying my Kindle Unlimited subscription. Um, there are a lot of indie authors that I follow that have their books on the service, and I do have my eye on reading those. I've been very lax about it, but I do plan on getting into those in 2020. There are also a few series that I am following um, that are on the service that I plan on continuing and possibly finishing in 2020. So there's that. Um, I set my Goodreads reading goal at 100 books this year. Um, that will include books and manga. Last year, in 2019, I had set my goal, I think, for 52. And then I ended up reading a ton of manga and kept pushing my my um, goal number of books read up and up and up because I was trying to make sure that I was reading 52 novels. So as I'd assess, I'd keep adjusting, and then I just decided, you know what, I read enough this year. I'm happy with my reading. Um, I'm happy with the number of pages I've read. I'm happy with the amount of volumes that I've read. I, there's no need for me to be adjusting it anymore. So wherever I am when I hit that 100 books mark is where I'm going to be. Anything else is just going to be a cherry on top. I'm not going to be adjusting it mid-year anymore. And yeah, that's just how it's going to be. I don't think that um, setting an outrageous goal like, oh, I'm going to read 266 books um, next year, including all of the manga, is something that's going to make me happy. Um, so 100 books it is, whether that be 100 volumes of manga, um, or if it's 50 volumes of manga and 50 books, it doesn't matter to me what the ratio is going to be. If I hit that 100, great. If I don't, great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to either meet that goal or make sure that I'm reading 52 novels. I'm just going to enjoy the journey. I am going to collect the same stats that I did um, on my own through a Google form in 2020. Um, I did adjust the form a little bit because I was collecting authors' names, but that really has no bearing on the information that I am collecting on the stats page of my form so I decided to take that out everything else is going to remain the same other than um, uh, the new releases date or year has changed to 2020 I don't um, foresee that I will be reading as many new releases but uh, we'll see uh, that could always surprise me I do get hesitant about reading new releases because a lot of times, like I said, I read a lot of series and new series are always shiny and new and I let the hype get to me a lot. Um, whether it be I'm hearing about it a lot and then I see a buddy read for it or a group read or this, that, and the other thing and I decide to pick it up, um, I really... I'm going to try not to be enticed so easily in 2020 by new and shiny series. I really want to focus more on series that I have already started. That being said, if I do see a series that I may be interested in, I may pick it up. Um, but that 
new releases that is something that I do find really interesting because I do read a ton of backlist titles and I enjoy reading backlist titles it helps me not feel anxious about waiting for the next installment of something or um, having to possibly reread before I read the next installment because release dates can get pushed back or there's a year in between or you know I can forget things um, while I'm waiting so yeah I'm very interested to see whether that number of new releases um, goes up or down like I said I don't anticipate that that stat will ever past the uh, backlist titles number but yeah I do have some series that I am wanting to start um, in 2020 and I'm going to allow myself to do that but I do want to work on the number of series that I do have in progress right now the number of series that I have in progress is 105, uh, which sounds like it's a lot, but like I said, I don't necessarily mean to finish all of these. I do have a lot of the series on this list that I've only read the first book for. Um, so we'll see how that number changes but yeah I think that's all of the stats that I have for you um, today let me know if there's anything else that you might be interested in in regards to my reading um, that I didn't share in this video uh, if you have posted your stats somewhere let me know like I said I'm really interested to see how everybody ended up at the end of the year and uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you're all doing great. And until next time, take care and smile always. Bye.